And we can go straight to sports right here on Breakfast Central. And we can tell you that Barcelona, yes, five-time European champions and giants of Spain, will not be in the knockout phase of this season's UEFA Champions League for the first time in 17 years after they lost out three goals to nothing against Bayern Munich yesterday at the Allianz Arena. So uh, we saw a miserable one for PK and the likes uh, of that Barcelona team. Goals from Thomas Muller, Leroy Sané and teenager Jamal Musiala helped Bayern advance as Group E winners with a 100% record. Well, Benfica finished second with, on, with eight points, which means Barcelona with only two goals in the entire group stage of this Champions League season. Terrible, many might say, uh, on seven points and only face the prospect of heading straight to the UEFA Europa League. In fact, they'll have to play a playoff to qualify into the UEFA Europa League. It caps up a quite a miserable one for Barcelona. They've not been absent since the last 16 stage, since 2003-2004, when they did not qualify for the competition at all. Now, their exit continues. Quite a shocking season for Barcelona. In the same year, uh, after they lost Lionel Messi on a free transfer, to PSG. So bad one for Barcelona. No knockout phase for them after they were beaten by Bayern Munich. Well, how about Manchester United? Let's talk about Manchester United uh, with uh, their team. They Well, they faced young boys, but they had young boys, yes, of <laughs> playing young boys. Uh, lots of likes of Mason Greenwood and Langa starting off. So Ralph Riani started for a, quite a, a young side for United. So 1-1 one, one it finished there uh, between United and uh, young boys. So United have qualified as group leaders for the next round of the UEFA Champions League. Let's talk about Chelsea, shall we? Chelsea against uh, Zenit St. Petersburg away from home. And the Chelsea boss, Thomas Tuchel, as you can see there, he's had his players change their behaviours after taking an early lead against Zenit as they drew 3-3. Yes, that man there, Timo Werner, scored twice in that game, but it was surprising that defending champions well, uh, threw away that uh, lead that they have in that match. Uh, Lukaku also amongst the goal scorers as Chelsea finished 3-3, so which means that they did not get to top the group. It's Juventus instead who tops that group, Group H. So let's look at the results uh, for you elsewhere in the UEFA Champions League as we saw it last night. So Bayern thrashing Barca, Benfica beating Didymo to follow Bayern to the next round. United having a draw, uh, Sevilla against Salzburg finishing 1-0. Uh, Lille away to Wolfsburg finishing 3-1. Juventus uh, well against Malmö finishing 1-1. And Zenit against Chelsea finishing 3-1 all as we saw it there. So a good result for them. There'll be one match today, though. It will be Atalanta Villas Villarreal. Uh, it was supposed to happen last night, but too much snow made sure that the match got postponed on until today. Well, still talking about football this time. The Champions League are going into the knockout phase, but we can tell you about one man who's currently the top scorer of the Champions League, and he's from Ivory Coast, and he plays for Ajax Amsterdam, Sebastian Haller. Now, he says he's quite proud to make history uh, becoming the very first African player to score in every, all the six group matches in the Champions League this season. In fact, he's got 10 goals to his name this season alone in the Champions League, which means he has more goals than Ronaldo and Messi in this season's Champions League. Now, this is a man who struggled at West Ham last season, but has really found form in his debut season in the Champions League. And he says he's quite happy to make records. As that's one man who will be looking out in the next round and also perhaps in the African Cup of Nations because he's from Africa, so we're expecting to play for the elephants in January.